A nonprofit that provides a sober living environment for women in recovery is gearing up for its annual fundraiser. As Ali Martin tells us, the New Year's Day event helps the Talbot House provide healing and hope to women throughout the year. Amy Mims is busy helping make sea salted chocolate chip cookies, a favorite at the Talbot House Bakery and Cafe. Mims has been working at the bakery for a couple of years. She was a resident at Talbot House for nine months before that. Mim says Talbot House was a crucial part on her road to recovery from substance abuse. Talbot House provided a lot of accountability for me and um, allowed me to start working on myself and start building a lot of life skills and taught me how to really start being an adult on my own before I moved out on my own. Talbot House began in 2015 and serves as a sober living home for women who have successfully completed residential drug or alcohol treatment programs. Residents are provided safe, supportive housing, referrals to medical and clinical counseling, and essential skills for any job by working at the Talbot House Bakery and Cafe. Plans are now underway for a tasty New Year's Day fundraiser. We have a traditional New Year's Day meal of ham, black eyed peas, greens, cornbread, one of our Talbot House cookies. Um, we're selling tickets for that for $15. 1,000 tickets are available for the New Year's Day lunch and every dollar raised goes to the mission of the Talbot House. The food is phenomenal um, too. It you know, helps our cause. It helps go toward the Talbot House. It helps the women there. And, um, you know, we're nonprofit, so we need all the, the help we can get. Amy is just one of the many success stories from Talbot House. And as she works at the bakery and cafe, she is also working on her nursing degree. In Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News.